Hey everybody, I have another fun nail tutorial for you guys. This was inspired by Rifle Paper Company. They have some awesome floral patterns. I wasn't sure what to call it, so I'm just calling it Blue and Coral Floral Nail Design. The polish that I'm featuring today is China Glaze Boho Blues. This was released from their Spring Summer Collection in 2015, and it's a gorgeous periwinkle that leans definitely more blue, and it's one of my favorites. And if you're new to my channel, I pick 10 favorites every season and I do a fun nail design for each one. This is the seventh one that I've done this season so far, so you can check out my other ones on my YouTube channel. Let's get into the design. I use several nail polish colors in this one and you can just pick ones that you have that are similar. I use Boho Blues, Essie Fiji, Essie Peach Daiquiri, Essie Licorice as well as Essie Blanc, which I don't have here. China Glaze First Mate and I mix this brown and this orange to make that kind of interesting brown color. I applied two generous coats of Boho Blues on all my nails and let that dry. I'm going to start off using SE Fiji. If I'm doing a nail design on several different nails then I'll just do the same color at once so it doesn't dry up. So I did all the flowers in different positions and I just painted a circle. And then I'm going to come in with navy blue and make a leaf pattern up the side of my nail. And then a stem going down the center. I'll have a list of the brushes that I use down below and all the polishes as well with links so that you can see which products that I'm using. And then I also did some other big leaves on one of my other pointer fingers and then I'm just going to do the corner of another big leaf at the bottom of this nail. And it helps to look at a picture. I was looking at the picture of the design that I followed and so you can get a better idea of where you want to place your flowers. So then I just came in with my white and did this bigger flower. And then a cluster of these smaller white flowers on the other finger. And this white isn't quite opaque so I'll go back in a minute when it has a chance to dry a little bit and go over it and make sure it's completely opaque. And then I'm going to do another flower that's a side view, almost like a tulip. And now I'm coming back to fill that in a little bit more. This nail design does take a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it. And then I'm going to put some more white clusters on the, my pinky finger. And then I mixed a brown and orange polish to make this golden brown color. And I'm just going to make the detail lines of these flowers. I'll also use that to create some leaves on my middle nail. Cluster of three. I've also been working on my thumb as well. I just haven't videoed that entirely, but I did use the coral polish to make a flower in the middle, and now I'm using this brown to do the three leaf cluster as well. And then coming in with that bright coral polish, I'm going to start doing some fine detailing and do these little half curves on the flower to make it look more like a rose. And I will do that to every flower of that type. And then I mix some white with my navy polish just to make a little bit of a lighter blue color to do some little flower clusters on just a few of my nails. And then coming in with that color, I'm going to do some details on the navy leaves. And then coming in with Licorice by Essie, I'm going to fill in this black center and I had to go back and get more paint to make that opaque. And then I did this detailing on these brown leaves with navy polish. Also using this navy polish, I came back and did some stems off of the white flowers. Now I'm going to do the detailing on the coral flower on my thumb and I'm just going to come in with that light pink PG polish and I'm going to do curves on all the edges and then bring the, the brush down to make this design. And then I'm going to do curves again in the center and then bring the polish down again from those. 
This actually ended up being my favorite flower. It's really simple to do and it has just a cool effect, especially when you get the top coat on top of it. And then I'm gonna come in with that golden brown mixture and I'm gonna do the detailing in the center of the white flowers. And the last detail we have are these little white dots in the center of our pink flowers and you just want to make those various sizes and just carefully dot those on. And that was a lot of detailing. I know it takes a little bit of time to, but just be patient. It's totally worth it. Make sure that is all completely dry before you put on your top coat. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. That's the final look and stay tuned for my other spring favorites. Thanks. Bye.